In this tutorial, I'll show you a trick you can use within montages. The main issue with montages and curves is that even if the curve value is set to 1 for the entire montage length, any blend in or out will cause the curve value to decrease accordingly, as shown in this video comparison. A Real Engine 5 allows the use of custom attributes to solve this issue, but if you want to do everything in a reel, here is what you can do. Let's say we want to enable IK on the left hand using a curve within the montage. Using Lyra's reloading animations, we get the rifle reload montage, and within the montage, create a curve called hand L IK. Then set two keyframes, one at frame 51 with a value of 0, the other one at frame 55 with a value of 1. If we debug the curve, we notice that the value will reach 1, then rapidly decrease to 0. That is caused by the blend out time set to 0.3 seconds. In order to keep the IK value to 1 even during the blend out, we can use an anim notify state. First, within the animation blueprint, create a float name hand L notify, then create an anim notify state, and inside the notify begin, cast to the animation blueprint and set the hand L notify to 1. Do the same thing for the notify end, but set the value to 0. Now, inside the montage, add the anim notify and make sure to set the begin at the same frame the curve value is also 1, so frame 55, and extend the anim notify until the end of the montage. To use this new value, we need to use the max node, which will get the max value from multiple sources. So using the NLAK and the NL notify, if we debug the value, we can see that even during the blend out of the montage, the value is still 1, because even though the NLAK value is decreasing towards 0, the NL notify value is 1 and isn't affected by the blend out of the montage.